Hi there, I'm going to show you how I hand cut these traditional glazing bars. I'm using 45mm by 20mm section with a 14mm mould on the top and a 15mm by 8mm rebate on the bottom to take the um, traditional putty glazing. Right, let's get it marked out and have a little look. So one of the first bits we mark out is 8mm deep and the, this section I'm marking out now will be taken out on the mortiser with a 6mm bit. So that's that piece marked out. Secondly, we'll mark out our six mil tenant. And now we'll mark out our scribe. So you can either mark this with a pencil, with a knife, or even with a chisel. Once that's all marked out, you can just lightly pencil it in so you can see the marks a little bit clearer. There we go. So first operation is going to be to remove this little piece here on the mortiser. Right, we'll get on with that in a minute. Right, so here we go, we've uh, mortised out that little piece there. Next we're going to be coming in and removing this hashed out section here to create a tenon. Then we're going to be moving over and coping sawing out that scribe. Right, let's get sawing. Always try and keep your workpiece vertical in the vise. Right, and once that's sawn out, we can pick up a skinny chisel and chisel out this middle piece. Remember to work back to your knife line.
flip it over and work back in on the other side. There we go. Right, back in the vise. Just give a little knife mark across here to stop anything splitting out. And get the coping saw. So my coping saw blade has uh, finer teeth on the first inch or so, which is nice and easy for starting off. <coughs> Once you've uh, coping sawed out your piece, you can get a little bit of sandpaper, wrap it around a bit of dowel, just a little bit of clean up. Um, just want to get those wispies out of the corners. See how it goes together. And again, if your fit is just a little bit tight, you can always go back in there with the sandpaper on the dowel and just give it a little, a little sand out. Right. Sweet! Sweet!